Diplomacy is a very important tool which you can automate or, if you prefer, fully control. Effective diplomacy can allow you to avoid conflict or at least have allies on your side if war is inevitable. For the most part, diplomacy is about patience and continuing investment in diplomatic relationships over time. Distant Worlds 2 includes more treaty types and additional relationship modifiers and better tracking of long-term trust and distrust. Treaty types range from three kinds of trade treaties and the basic non-aggression pact, all the way up to full research cooperation agreements and defensive pacts. Through the diplomacy screen, you can choose to speak with other empires, independent worlds or pirates. For each one, your advisors will choose a diplomatic strategy, which you may also change to suit your plans. Diplomacy with independence is focused on trade and, if done well, can lead to an opportunity to integrate the independent world into your empire, which can be a great benefit, especially when your empire is still young. Pirates in Distant Worlds 2 are space-based civilizations that survived the last cataclysm and have grown used to preying on planets like your own for resources and tribute. Diplomacy with pirates is thus more difficult, but if you manage to get past the stage of paying them protection money and earn their trust, you can ask for payment-free non-aggression treaties and even military refueling. Pirates often also have knowledge of certain galactic secrets and technologies beyond what the planetary civilizations were able to preserve. Finally, you have empires, which are the most complex and rewarding diplomatic partners. When you first meet an empire, a first contact situation could result in anything from an initially positive relationship with a trade treaty all the way to a terrible misunderstanding leading to war. Over time, each AI empire will choose a diplomatic strategy of its own. You can't see exactly what strategy the other empires have chosen towards you, but by engaging in diplomacy, you can start to get a better sense of whether they could prove to be friends or foes. Consistent diplomatic efforts, trust from honoring treaties, and generous gifts can shift another empire towards you and result in the possibility of changing their goals and strategy, thus opening up further treaty possibilities. Among the special characters in your empire, ambassadors can be crucial, though you never have enough for all the other empires. Pick and choose where to send your ambassadors to shore up and facilitate key relationships. Each faction now also has diplomatic research associated with it, starting with its language and ending with a complete understanding of their culture, history, and traditions. Pursuing this time of diplomatic research can significantly increase mutual understanding. Finally, there is always the quick deal, and you should periodically check to see if another empire or pirate faction has something of value which they are willing to trade for a price you may find appealing.